In this video, I'll share with you guys some interesting and inspiring stories about Leonardo da Vinci. I'll be reading his biographies, his notebook, and his art books in the last couple of years. It was fascinating. He inspires me in so many different ways. That's the major reason I want to make this video, hoping that he will inspire you guys too. Everyone knows that Leonardo is a great artist. Well, his studies in science and engineering is as significant and impressive as his artwork. He's active as a painter, draftsman, engineer, and scientist, and so on. He's truly a Renaissance man and polymath. I'll delve into each of these. Let's start with his anatomy studies. Leonardo is fascinated with human expressions, body, and human anatomy. He would go somewhere, watch people's face expressions, and take joy notes in his notebook. He would also dissect human bodies. Leonardo keep a notebook with him everywhere, wherever he goes. It is recorded that there are about 13,000 pages of notes and drawings he made. Let me show you some of the anatomy notes from his notebooks. The first one I'll show you is called Vitruvian Man. These drawings indicate the ideal portion of human body, and it is accompanied by the notes from the architect Vitruvian. This is one of the most famous drawings from Leonardo. The next one shows you a fetus, and this is a fetus in the womb. It depicts the human fetus inside of a dissected uterus. This is also one of his most famous drawings, and it is considered the very first in the history that is correctly depict human fetus in the position within the womb. It is very fascinating. Let me quickly show you a few more of his anatomy studies. He has made so much more than what I have shown you. You can find more in his notebook or in other resources. Next, I'll talk about his studies in flying machine. Leonardo started his first studies about flight around 4080. It was about 500 years before the first plane was made, so he was so far ahead of time. And later years, he made around 200 drawings and sketches about the theories behind flight. And he also mentioned in his notes that his major inspiration was coming from the animals in the world. For example, bats, cats, and birds. His early software was an aircraft that would fly by flipping its wings. It was designed to show how humans can fly similar like winged animals. As Leonardo himself may have realized, this machine may be able to fly once it is in the air. It would be hard for a human to have enough power to get it off ground at the first place. However, his glider has been successfully constructed and demonstrated. Even though these flying machines are invented around 1400, and the first airplane was created around 1900, 500 years later, he was still so far ahead of his time. Next, we'll talk about linear perspective. Leonardo used mathematical principles of linear perspective in his artwork. For example, he used parallel lines, horizontal lines, and, and vanish point to create a depth of illusion in a flat surface. Here I'll show you a few examples. Even though Leonardo himself mentioned about his despised wars, but he was employed as a military engineer for many years in his life because of his fascination in science. He has designed many defenses weapons during his life. Next, I'll talk about how he uses visual illusions in his artwork. You can see this in his Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa's interesting smell has been fascinating people for centuries. Leonardo used the concept of ultimately in this work. It means that it captures the internal source of a human by its expressions and gesture. And also in this work, he uses an 
ambiguous phase expression, which results in a dynamic and a constant changing appearance. Since we are talking about Mona Lisa here, I just want to briefly cover that Mona Lisa is also a typical example of sfumato from Leonardo. Leonardo is very famous for his sfumato. Sfumato means vanished or evaporated. To be more general, it means gradually changing. For example, if you have a light from bright to dark, or if you have an edge, or if you transit from one corner to the other corner, it's a gradual change, very soft. There's so much more to share about Leonardo. In order to not make this video extremely long, I'll end up here. If you have any specifics you want to know about him, let me know. I have so much more to share about him from his biography and notebooks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.